Well, let's find out, man. Let's see what's going to happen. Do you know of an ETA? Uh, I got the link, so I imagine they are going to be ready here pretty quick. Um, not positive, but I do believe that is the correct link. Oh, and chat is back. Yes, I missed you all. Chat is back, so cool. Wait, is that actually Sam X playing with Hydra? Yep. <laughs> really? Yep. I don't know why I'm laughing. <coughs> Wait, they give me a different ID now. Uh, I'll give you. Okay, I'll, I'll give you the next matchup. I don't know if it's actually different, but it doesn't have all the extra stuff at the end. So, maybe it matters. Uh, anyway, Reject going to be going up against Everybody Loves Zerian. They actually did play RMP uh, last week, which was one of the most exciting games. Um, you know, a lot of people's favorite series, actually, it was, it was a really good one. Uh, for me, you know, my, my favorite was either that series or um, there was a really amazing, uh, it was a Warrior Shadow Priest Shaman team going up against... Um, a Rhett Hunter Priest, and it was actually Bleach Bones playing the Rhett Hunter Priest, so, you know, some of the best players um, playing, you know, one of the strongest comps, and everyone was kind of thinking that the Warrior Hunter Priest, or Warrior, uh, Sh Warrior Shaman Priest was going to get stomped, but they actually made a really, really, really good series of it. It was actually incredible, so uh, Haxon was playing the Warrior there, and it really impressed me, so th that was that was probably my, face my favorite series, actually. Hydra plays Resto? Uh, no. Just, just people just list what they want. Sam X plays Warlock? They what is going on? They accidentally picked Warlock last week, actually, and <laughs> they uh, they almost had to play it, but then they allowed they decided to allow them to repick. <laughs> yeah. No one would have wanted to see that. Yeah. <laughs> Still funny though. Yeah, yeah, it would have been pretty funny. Uh and there we go, Horde Alliance. It looks I like wanna see R and P. Yeah, I mean I think a lot of people want to see R and P, honestly. Um, Sam X is fun to watch. Yeah, it's really fun to watch. You know, Hydra's team, uh, they played they played Fury Warrior in two of their series last week as well. I mean, they did win. Uh, they they lost with uh, they played twenty five media tumbler that team that we just watched. Um, <laughs> that just won. Uh, they played fo against Foxita's team, and Foxita's team actually ran uh, just like Hunter Warlock stuff like every game pretty much. And um, we saw the Hydra's team run Fury Warrior Hunter twice, and then they ran RMP the other time. Um, and RMP was actually the Frost Mage was actually banned out for the final series because uh, the RMP did win, so they wanted to go back against that that Hunter Warlock team or, or Hunter Warrior team rather. So we'll see we'll see what Everybody Loves Zerian is going to ban. I do know that uh, that Everybody Loves Zerian is actually um, 2,700 plus as PhD, which uh, most Europeans are considering the, the strongest comp in the game. Uh, so that is going to be that's going to be pretty interesting to, to find out if that's what they're going to be aiming for, and you know I think we're going to see a lot of targeted bans towards that because when someone has a comp that's that strong, you're you're probably not really going to want to fight it. Uh, I want to see. Okay, this is a match I want to watch. Are you ready? Hmm. I want to see RMP from Reject Comp, and I want to see. FMP from the other comp. RMP versus FMP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds sounds like FMP would be a pretty pretty solid solid pick for that one. You never know. Yeah, it's true. You do never know. Um, I mean, RMP is definitely not bad. RMP is actually a pretty good comp. Um, you know, even though a lot of people wouldn't wouldn't realize that, but it actually is pretty solid. Uh, the real the only real problem with RMP is not so much the strength of that comp, but just the strength of some of the other stuff, you know. Obviously, Ellie Shamans and Feral Druids and, and whatnot are kind of <laughs> the, the dominant dominant specs right now. But VL tweeted me that Beyonce would be proud and said, you should be ashamed. <laughs> no, man. You've never heard Survivor by uh, what's what was the band? Beyonce's mm -hmm. band before being Beyonce? Oh, Destiny's Child or something? Yeah, yeah, Destiny's Child. Survivor. I'm a survivor. I ain't gonna give up. I ain't gonna stop. What I'm gonna work harder. That was amazing. Thank you. <coughs> um, uh, one one thing also worth mentioning with this uh, with this banning system is that priests are actually uh, well priests are one of the strongest healers in the game anyway. Um, and then honestly, I feel like they're the strongest healer in the game, bar none, with this setup because. The, they're the only healing class that has two healers. 
so uh, they have the two specs, you know, so you can't actually ban out a priest. So no other healer, no other team can come in with only one class to heal because that's literally what they have. It's just Hydra healing on priest for every comp. That's it. Yeah. But you can't actually stop him because there's holy and disc. You ban out one, he picks the other every time. And you can only ban one healing spec. So there's nothing from playing priest. Uh, so that is actually a massive advantage for priests that no other healing class has. Whereas if, if you come in and you only have a druid banned every time, you have nothing. Same thing with every other class. So it's actually a really big advantage uh, for playing a priest I in this tournament. What do you see the benefits of holy versus disc? In PvP, holy to me is is actually insane. Um, I've actually been saying it was really good for a long time, and it just started getting popular in threes recently. And it's kind of funny because uh, I was asking people, why, why don't people play holy priests? So they seem insane. Every single time I fought one in twos, I wanted to die. They seem crazy, and no one was really playing in threes. People said they didn't have the healing output, etc. But with these CC Chancer comps, you don't actually have to heal as much. And to me, the benefit is is the spread healing. You don't have to cast ever. Uh, it's all just instants, pretty much. Your light well is incredible. Um, the weakness to me is playing against the hardcore cleave comps, the the hardcore single damage comps, single target damage, because uh, a lot of those setups are just gonna kill your light well instantly. Uh, whereas you know something like an affliction warlock literally can't kill it, uh, or it takes forever because you can't actually dot it. DKs can't kill it because it's it's all just you have to fell flame it like a hundred times to kill it. So. I think against against something like Feral Hunter or whatever, it's not as good because they can just kill off your Lightwell instantly and continue to just kind of tunnel. And uh, Holy becomes weaker once you actually have to start casting spells. Whereas uh, versus the spread damage, you don't have to do that so much. You can just get away with using Palms and all the instants and things like that. Um, but against you know, the, the big time single target damage comps, they actually have to start casting G heals and Flash heals and everything. And then it, it starts not being so good. Okay. Yeah. So if I were... Hydra's team, I'd probably ban Barrel instantly. And if I were everybody loves Zerian, I would probably ban. If you were Hydra's team, you ban Feral. Yeah, I don't think that's actually the right choice though, because I think that this this team Garks, yeah, he's trying to play the Hunter. Um, and I mean, Wow oh. Druid is a really good Feral, but I mean, you can you can ban that out. But I think their number one comp is actually PhD. It's actually DK Hunter Priest. They're like I said, I think they're like the highest one in the world. Maybe ban. So they might actually want to ban in the Holy DK. That's marks? what that's what most people have been doing against this. Uh, they're going to ban oh. Feral first, which is a fine choice anyway. Yes, that's what I said. You should have. Yep. So okay, this is interesting. This is actually I actually like this from everybody that was hearing banning the Dispriest, which to me screams they're going to play Cleave. Um, and if they play a heavy Cleave setup and they force Hydra into the Holy uh, spec, then that's that's going to be something that he's maybe not nearly as comfortable with. So. Uh, I think that's actually a really intelligent ban. Wow Druid is also one of the best Feral Druids in Europe. I know he's very well known Feral Druid, so totally makes sense to have that Feral ban. I would have expected the the DK ban, but anyway, okay, Unholy DK comes out, Frost Mage comes out, almost guaranteed it's PhD going up against RMP. You're that con you're that you're that sure of yourself. Yep. The one thing is though, uh, although this is like a really cleavy comp, they can't kill light well nearly as well uh, as some of the other setups. I mean the hunter can maybe kill it by himself but the DK really can't do anything to it because um, you can't put diseases on it so even if you scourge strike it it doesn't really do anything and you can't spread diseases to it so uh, that's pretty much guaranteed what we're gonna see. Okay so subtlety rogue getting banned out. Now this is gonna be a weird situation for Hydra's team. Now these bands are so good by everybody this year. I have to say this is the best banding I've actually seen. Uh, this is the most intelligent bands I've seen so far in the tournament from everybody this year. Really, 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 really like it. Um, this is very targeted bands. They've obviously watched what they played last time. Uh, such good bans. So they ban out Disc Priest, force him into Holy against Cleave, and now they're banning out Sub. So what do you pick from here? Uh, you can still play Sam X, but he has to play him Assassination or Combat. Either that, or you're playing Hunter Mage? What is that? You can't play Hunter Mage. You can play Warrior Mage, but I mean, what is that? Like, so, so it's, yeah, so he's putting him, they're forcing him into a bad spec RMP against, with Holy, against a, a really strong Cleave. So this is really, really, really well done. Um, actually, the best bands by far, bar none, period, uh, done by everybody of Zerian. Anything who disagrees is wrong. Really, really good. <laughs> and it's going to be Marks coming out. So it's going to be Marks PhD against Assassination Holy RMP. Um, and I, I have to say, it could not have gone better for everybody of Zerian so far. You know what's scary is that every team that was going to have to fight Hydra's team can watch this. And yeah, like, they're great bands. Ban against them. Yep. 
Damn. Uh, but at the same time, Hydra's team could have still gone. I mean, picking Frostmage first, to me, was the main mistake. Uh, I think Hydra just failed on the picks, uh, or Keke Pop or whoever was picking, but their team failed on the picks. Picking Frostmage first tells them you're running RMP, period. You, there's nothing else they can run. It's RMP. So uh, by doing that, I think they messed up. I think um, if, you pick, if you pick the Priest first, then they do their second ban, and they have to guess. You pick priest, holy priest first. They can then ban out, uh, you know, a frost. They can ban out the rogue still. But then you could go with warrior hunter. You know, you could do BM hunter, uh, arms warrior, something like that. So, I think um, some of the best bans and picks ever from uh, from uh, everybody of Zirian and some of the some of the. I mean, okay bans, but not the best picks from from uh, Regia comp. I think so. Big advantage so far from everybody of Zirian. This is scary. Yep. I think it's interesting that he chose Marksman over Survival. Uh, I mean, I think it makes sense. Uh, most people play Marksman in the Cleavy type setups. I think that um, Survival, I mean, it, it would be more you know pressure maybe because you could say it was spreading the diseases and everything. But I think that in general, uh, they may wanting to be wanting to just CC out Hydra and probably kill the Rogue and and the and the Mage. In which case, I think Marks definitely makes sense. I mean, you can have power shots hitting uh, upwards of 120k. You know, I got hit for 127k on on the TR. Um, like, by a power shot, so uh, Mark's Hunters with power shot is pretty fearsome. Okay. Well, should I be Order Alliance? Uh, we're gonna find out. I mean, just look at your real ID or whatever, and just yeah, watch yeah. and see what uh, Supersonic gets. I think gets on, and then um, you will be able to follow there. Huh. I'm excited to see this game. I, I am. Currently scared for Hydra, Samex, and Flynn. Yeah, it's actually Pig Boy, by the way. If Flynn, it's actually not Flynn. I don't know why. I don't know if he submitted his name as Flynn or if they just wrote that down wrong or what, but it is Pig Boy. Oh, uh, really? Yep. It's Pig Boy. It's a US, US mage um, who, does, who does pretty well for himself on ladder and everything like that. He's been playing a lot of RMP. Um, so, anyway, uh, we're going to find out exactly what's going to go down here. Is LSP as good as LSD? No, it's not. In the meantime, guys, feel free to tweet at us. He's at EG Azale. I'm at Conrad NAO. Someone tweeted at me, Beyonce, will you marry me? Nope. I'm not Beyonce. Uh, have you tried the new raid on 5 and 4 PTR? Do you know what still sounds Lei Shen Tringa dependent? It is Lei Shen Tringa dependent. Um, but there are some ridiculous Tringa's next patch that's actually going to make Demo insane too. Like, Saw a video of this guy, his name's Smash, he was posting like 800,000 or something absurd. There's also his guildmate, who's a mage, it was one of the top viewed videos on Twitch, I think. He was bursting for 1.6 million. So, DPS. Yeah, D yeah, this is DPS. Yeah. So I think those trinkets are actually probably going to get nerfed. And when those trinkets get nerfed, then the Leishen trinket is still going to roll out for everything and. Uh, you know, as Warlock stats get better, that Lei Shen Tringit is just even better because you can focus a lot more on mastery and haste, and you're going to be reaching different breakpoints for haste, and uh, yeah, more imps just means tons more damage, tons more demonic fury, and the set being the set bonuses next patch are going to be really good for Warlocks too. Whereas this patch, it was god awful, like absolutely awful. You don't even use four pieces, Demo. Did you know that, Isaac? Nope. Did Neither you care? did anyone else watching this stream because it is a PvP stream. Listen, man. We're not here to talk about PV slaying dragons. Okay. They tweet me these PvE questions because that's where my expertise is. Yeah. I mean, you should see, you should just discreetly, you know, message them back on Twitter maybe. And, uh, You're saying you don't want me to announce my PvE stuff? Yeah. yeah Are you saying, serious? Yeah. I mean, yeah. really? Yeah. Are you serious? Yep. Pretty serious. Fine. Yep. Okay. Everyone's agreeing too. Yep. So. All right. If you're with a Zale, press one. If you're with me, <laughs> press two. If you like the little PVE here and then, every now and then, press two. And if you, there's one two right now. There's a lot of ones. There's all you. Eh, it's a lot of ones. That's ninety percent ones. There's a lot of twos. That's 90% ones. Look at all those twos. Look at all those twos. It's like 10% twos. 20% at best. All I see are twos. <laughs> You're in denial, my friend. Um, anyway, it is going to be Pig Boy 
uh, rinse machine, which is Hydra and Samuel X going up against uh, the PhD. It's going to be a good one. We're going to find out who is going to come out on top here. Reject Comp going up against Everybody Loves Zerian. Everybody Loves Zerian. All right. Everybody hates Chris. Did you ever see that show? Actually, never. No. There's actually there are a few good episodes. I didn't see all of them, but I guess I was way younger. When I heard I saw about it. it, but I just I just didn't care to actually ever watch it. To be honest with you, there it was it was pretty funny. Yeah, I can see that. I can see but I really okay. like. I think Chris Rock is hilarious. Yeah, he is hilarious. He might be one of my favorite comedians. Did you ever watch the Chris Rock show? Nah. That's good. I'm not a big fan of comedy per se. He has some really stand up and stuff. Like some really good stand up. I just happen to like a, you know, I like laughing, but rehearsed jokes. I don't really like rehearsed jokes too much. You know, I like spur of the moment. Yeah, I mean, most stand up isn't isn't amazing, but I don't know. There's some of the, some of the really good stand up. I think is is hilarious. So like, there's it's like a threshold you have to reach where it's just like, okay, this isn't funny. This isn't funny. And then after you reach that threshold, it's like, damn, that's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. That's Dave Dave Chappelle, one of my favorites too. Dave Chappelle, Chris Rock, I think they're both hilarious. So. Anyway, um, we are going to be getting on into this, guys, and it is going to be quite the matchup. Start things off here in the first best of three. Uh, you know, fan favorites is definitely going to be a Hydra's team, and we're going to see if uh, if they're going to be able to get things done here, or if uh, if it's going to kind of if these picks and bans are, are going to be too much for them because you know this is going to be a really strong team. And what is happening? Why did he just run out? Okay. Uh, is it? Samuel X is that his name? Yeah, he's asking. He's asking for the wait. I don't know what's <coughs> going on though. I'm gonna hide the frames anyway, just just in case it does actually start. Uh, he is stealth, and it looks like we are gonna be starting here. I think. Um, yeah, they are gonna be running out, so I guess we are gonna be good to go. There is that AOE team stealth coming out there for Sam X. Uh, he's gonna get Ooh. step forward. He gets a sap onto the DK. Will he open up on the DK hard? It looks like that is not gonna be his target. He's charging in. Spectral guys comes out for the priest. Uh, there is that hunter. Hunter gonna kill off the Siphine immediately. I like that choice there from Garks. Uh, there is that deep freeze onto onto Zirian. Uh, and this trap, uh, trap trying to come out here uh, onto Rinse Machine, but it does not look like it's going to land. There's the Strangulate onto Rinse Machine. Pig Boy going to be in some trouble here. Pig Boy taking a lot of damage. Uh, he was stacked up for that trap to be able to eat it. Uh, he's going to be able to fake the interrupt on the Polly. The Polly now coming out there onto uh, Johnny. Johnny going to pop the Desecrated Ground. He gets out of it. Pig Boy in some trouble here. Down 20% HP. Full Sheep was stolen there by Rinse Machine. He almost dies without the block. That is so dangerous. He almost... <laughs> He continuously just getting these blocks up with no HP, but now Sam X is going to be the target here. He's put into the nine. He's at half HP. He gets life ripped out, and this is not a good start here for the RMP. Yeah, and RMP like opener is so important for them. But Piggy Boy did also have to use his cold snap. Prince Machine caught inside of a strangulate at this point. Now inside of a scatter shot, Piggy Boy probably going to have to use a second block if he even manages he to live for those four seconds. Three, two, one. Oh my God, he oh, died yeah. right like. If he lived half a second longer and was spamming yeah. it, he would have gotten it. But yeah, but I mean that was that was not a close game, man. That was a that looked rough. The the, the opening was not good, and and I mean that just just looked so one-sided. So um, they're gonna have to clean up a lot <coughs> to be able to to really get something done here uh, against this team. I mean, uh, like I like I said, everybody of Zerian, they're probably the highest team in the world is PhD. Uh, this is a team that that. People are considering the strongest setup in the world. Or this, um, and Hydra obviously not too happy. He says, "They ask what the map is." He says, "Any, we have no chance. Our comps are useless." So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know so I guess. Oh, I don't know, man. I mean, they need. They need. They need some motivation here, man. They need some motivational speech. They need Sam X. He needs to get a grow kidney on the pally. Can we go pally? Can we go pally? Pally and grow kidney. Get a bomb out. Get a bomb out. Can we Get a blood, get a blood, got it, can it sap out? Can you can you cheap shot? Cheap shot? <laughs> cheap shot? Can you get a poly? Can you get a poly? Good, good. Can you get a re in his face? He has no idea. <laughs> well, yeah, they make it happen. Uh, we'll find out. But with the, uh, these specs, man, it's gonna be tough. Um, the holy assassination RMP going up against the PhD and uh, and Pig Boy chooses Tolveron, so we are going to be going on into Tolveron. We'll see what they can get done here in the second game. This is the first best of three between Reject Comp. All right, I just put Reject. My bad. I should fix that. Uh, Reject Comp and <laughs> um, 
It is Rita Comp going up against Everybody Loves Zirian. Everybody Loves Zirian up 1-0 in the first best of three. It is, of course, a best of three of three, which means you have to win two best of threes out of three best of threes to win the best of three. Uh, man, how is Assassination, really? Do you see anyone playing that? Um, not really. Uh, I don't. To be honest with you, uh, the only only person I see playing at high ratings on a rogue that's not subtly is Wu Man, and he plays combat. Oh yeah, it's he's actually insane. He's I, swear I, he's I, I, I still think he's the best rogue. I he's think he's, sick, I think he's actually really good, really really good. I played with him the other day. We played some random 3 DPS comp, and we were like 2440 or something like that, playing 3 DPS with combat Demo Warlock Hunter. Well, it's really funny. Right there. So I can do. Pardon? Sick. Look how well I can do. <laughs> no, I I'm saying Wuman was owning, man. I actually think he's really good at combat. But anyway, um, I haven't seen uh, anyone play Assassination really. Uh, I don't know if it's if there's anyone playing, you know, high level Assassination or, or not. I mean, there definitely could be. I'm just not aware of it. Um, but hey, yeah, I got a really good tweet. Someone tweeted at me. I'll give you credit, my friend, Luca T. Why didn't Hydra's team just pick Feral instead of Rogue? FMP is considered pretty strong by players like Venruki. Yeah, why didn't they? Yeah, but who who who's plays Feral on their team? Gekopopa. I don't think he actually can play Feral. Can they just not do that? He, just, just, he just listed it. I mean, that, that's the thing. Everyone just does that, so it's like... The thing is, it gives an advantage to a lot of the unknown teams because people don't... Act, like, like, when you're playing against a lot of the, the Russian teams and stuff like that, um, you actually don't know what they what they can play and what they can't play you know um, because if, if it's not like a famous player if they're not streaming or whatever then um, there's there's not much you can you can really do about it like there's not much you can really tell but uh, in this case uh, I think most of the European players know that he can't play he can't play Feral. can you have your guys make sure that they don't fear word early because someone in my group is talking about it okay did you join early that game in stealth by the way no. Okay, yeah. I always join after I see the messages from... What's that add-on I really dislike that everyone uses? Gladius. I much prefer S Arena. It's way better. Hydra uses it. My friend B Brandon Bomb Tracks linked it to me. Shout out to BT. I guarantee he's not watching though. Oh my god, it's back. Okay. From the Twitter. Jim Carrey greater than all? Eh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> quit, your, quit with your dragon slaying and call a wreckful. No. He's having fun at the house. I want to visit the house. Yeah. I want to visit Toronto more. Paula. Dude, Toronto's sick. When we yep. finish up here, I'm probably gonna get some sushi. And uh Yeah, yeah. then what? What you gonna do after that? I'm gonna eat it. Yeah? With George? Is that all you're gonna eat with George? Yep. You sure? Just sushi. Just sushi? Yep. Yeah. Do you guys like cats? Uh not really. No? They're okay. I mean I don't no know. Pussy pet, cats. Pets are cool, but uh No pussy cats. You don't like pussy cats? No. Nope. They're okay. What if, but, what if uh, George had a pussy cat? <laughs> then uh, and then you guys want to go out to eat. Uh, I don't know. Then we go out to eat with George and maybe his pussy you'd cat. have to give it some sushi too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, where, where are you going with this, comment, Huh? Huh? <coughs> anyway, the gates have <laughs> opened. We're gonna be getting this game going. We're gonna see if Reject Comp can battle back here against everybody of Syrian. They are down 1-0. And this, this is going to be a tough one for him, man. Uh, they definitely got the by far worse end of the of the setups, and uh, they're going to need to pull out something something kind of special here if they want to if they want to take it down. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sorry, I had to communicate regarding the fear ward issue. Okay. Is Sam X still named Samuel X? Yep. S A M U L E X. All right, cool. Just making sure I have him on my frames correctly because he's in stealth. But this game is going to get started very quickly here, my friends. So 
Thank you all for tuning in, by the way. We are on a new channel, twitch.tv slash League of Arenas. Make sure you click the follow. Make sure you uh, watch us live again in 18 hours and 30 minutes tomorrow. So, there will be more action. Yep. All and right, guys. I have to say, I've had a good day. Yeah, and I think this is going to be hopefully the best series so far. So, anyway... Uh, countdown has begun. Ten seconds remaining until it's going to start off. Can the RMP battle back here in game two? Well, let's find out. Reject comp going up against everybody. Syrian PhD looking dominant in game one, but never know what's going to happen here. RMP, you know, has potential for some incredible burst. Uh, they're going to have to play it, you know, nearly flawlessly though against this if they want to take home a win. Yeah. So <coughs> they're not going to be able to get them out with the flare or the death and decay. Hydra's early fear. Oh, they got them all. Oh my goodness. They ran into it. It was down for like two seconds, I swear. And Hydra's fear ward has expired, so uh, that's not looking good. He did just now have the fear ward. Look where Pigboy is, man. Look at he's he, he's in a risky spot, man. This is some risky business. Samex is coming in. They're gonna go for a big opener here. What is the opener gonna be? There comes that. Oh, he got the poly. He didn't see it for the death in time. He was going for those uh, those spirit shells. He's not able to get it. Here's the opener onto Garks. Now, this is perfect start here. Uh, there's the strength on Hydra. Uh, Johnny MDR though caught in the Nova. Deep freeze onto Zirion off that. Garks gonna be dismantled. He's gonna be taking some damage. Samex into that disengaged root. Garks though down to 50%, 30% HP. There's the blind on Zirion. He's gonna trick it immediately. Are we gonna see that patented Sam? X swap onto the priest. I mean, the priest has no trinket now. Uh, definitely could be a viable target. No uh, inner focus available for him as well. But Sam X is now the target here. He's going to have to probably pop that wall here pretty soon, but he's pushing in. Uh, looks like he does have that wall up now. I think I see the animation, but uh, the DK is going to be the target here. Uh, Pig Boy blinking back out of there. He blinked too soon, though. The second grip was still available, and Hydra going to be put into the full trap. He has to trigger that into the silencing shot. Block comes out. It's going to be MD almost immediately. No, he just canceled it. He's going aggressive. Oh my goodness. Well, look at look at Garks. He's down at 35% health. He's going to feign death, still trying to kite away. Zarian trying to pick him up. There's the penance coming in. And wow, our DK stole Ice Plug, so he was able to uh, get out of that right there, and he was taking some damage. He's now down to 42%, though, and he's in Blood Presence. There's a scatter shot and the Sansing shot onto Hydra, overlapping it a lot with that Strangulate, though. But Pigboy has three seconds to block, two seconds to block, one second Guardian, to block. Guardian Wings is up, though, so he should be okay. He's, he's going to wait at least for that to expire before he does uh, block if he even needs to, and he doesn't need to. He's going to get top back off, so good hold on the Ice Block there. Uh, is going to keep him alive for now. Bringer Frost is going to be dropped onto that ghoul. The DK won't be able to push back in here. Oh, he stole the sheep, though. There's the full sheep on Hydra. Grip over on the pig boy. Second block's going to have to come out. There it is. And they're in a world of trouble here. No MD coming out there from Zirian MCS. Uh, pig boy canceled his block again. He's going aggressive once more here on a Garks. Uh, they, they feel like they need to all in, I guess. And they could be right here. Sam X taking a lot of damage as well. 30% HP. There's the step from Sam X back to Hydra. They're retreating back to the pillar. But what do they really have left here? Not much. Alter time comes out from pig boy. But what was that alter time for? He didn't do anything. I think that was a misclick. Good. He's going for reset. He's going to go for reset. Can he get it? Can he get it? Can he get it? He gets into stealth, but he got feared while he was in stealth. It's not looking good for him. There's a full fear on the Johnny. He does get managed to get out of it. Garks, he's inside that fear as well. Blink counter spell on the Zirian. Not looking good for him. Look at Pig Boy. Down at 70%. There's a little strangulate on the Hydra. He's coming out of it now. But look, Pig Boy. So there's a palm ring. Is he going to get anybody in it? He is. He's going to get Johnny MDR. And now look at Zirian. He's caught inside of a deep freeze. Hydra, or Pig Boy rather, down to 45%. There's a bomb. Bomb going down. Can they get anything done? Nope. There's a pain expression. That was a really good pain expression. Look, Pig Boy down to 28% health. Can they get anything? Can they get a group Can they get a group Can they get a group Look, Garks down to 40 Will he actually go down here? There's a scatter shot on the Hydra, and I think the Pig Boy is actually going to go down. Garks, 14% health. Will he manage to survive? He's saving it to the kill. Doesn't look like it. That's going to be it. That's going to be the game. Well said, my friend. And with that, the Zirian going to take it. 2-0 in the first series over uh, over reach at comp. We're gonna have to go back to the picks and bans. And what can they change up here, man? I think they need to to, to play some KFC or something. Mm -hmm. Someone in chat said I think it's unprofessional to imitate tournament players. I'm not doing it to make fun of them. I'm doing it to make you guys laugh. If you don't like laughing, I'm sorry. There is a Russian stream. If you don't understand <laughs> it, I promise you won't laugh over there. Well, I mean, maybe they're maybe they're hilarious, man. Why can't you say that? You racist. Well, that's why I said if you don't speak yeah, Russian, maybe, maybe I they promise just, you won't laugh. I'm just gonna have a a good time. You're just gonna be laughing and smiling and drinking some vodka. Yeah, vodka. I want to see the new bands and picks. Yeah, me too, man. Um, but anyway, Conrad just you know raining down happiness and sunshine <laughs> to everyone, and uh, what a what a treat it is to have you here with me, Conrad. I'm glad that you are here, man. It's been a lot of fun so far. 